Welcome to Be Free Driving School. On this video, we'll be looking at stopping distances. I'm sure you're familiar with this diagram, which explains to you all about the stopping distances. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to explain it, break it down, so hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense to you and you'll be able to understand it better. This diagram shows the speed limits from 20 miles per hour up to 70 miles per hour. It shows you the overall stopping distance for each speed limit, as well as the thinking distance and the braking distance. So let's break that down. Let's have a look at 20 miles an hour. So we can see that 20 miles an hour, your overall stopping distance is 12 meters. It does have it in feet, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to deal with meters. So the overall stopping distance is made up of the blue part, which is what we call your thinking distance or your reaction time, and the red part, which is the braking distance. So it's the time that it actually takes for the car to stop once you've pressed the brake. These stopping distances, they are a general guide. There's so many different factors but it is the only guide that we have to go by. So let's have a look at an example. Imagine you're driving the red car at 20 miles an hour and a small child runs out in front of you. Your car will travel for three car lengths before it stops, which is the equivalent of 12 meters, which is the overall stopping distance. Let's break that down a little bit more. So the 12 meters, as I said before, it's made up of the blue part, which is your thinking distance, and the red part, which is your braking distance. Let's look at the thinking distance in a bit more detail. The thinking distance is your reaction time. It's the time when you see the, the, the danger, the hazard, the small child, to the time you start to press the brakes. Now, what sort of things do you think can affect your reaction time? Let's have a look at that. Your health. Tiredness is such a big killer because I don't know about you, but I can be watching television, about to watch my most favourite film that I've been waiting to watch all day. And my eyes are getting tired, but I'm like, I'm determined. I am going to watch this. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up and the credits are going out and I've missed the film. The danger with tiredness is when do you know that you're tired? It's normally when you wake up that you realise, gosh, I didn't realise I was that tired. So tiredness is a big factor. You could have a cold, you might have the flu, you might just generally feel under the weather. This is all going to affect your reaction time. Medication. You could be on medication because you've got a cold or a flu or for whatever reason. These are what we call self-prescribed medication that you've gotten over the counter at the chemist. Or you might be on prescribed medication for the doctor. Always make sure whatever medication that you're on, that you, that you do check the bottle and you read and see whether it advises you whether you should be driving or not. That's really important. So medication can affect your reaction time. Alcohol. Alcohol affects us all differently. Some people are affected by just a little bit of alcohol. The danger with alcohol is that it gives you a confidence, but it's not a real confidence. I've heard people say, I drive better when I've been drinking. I don't know if you've heard anybody say that, <laughs> but I have. And that scares me because if you think you're driving better when you're drinking, that's not good. As I say, alcohol gives you, it gives you a full sense of confidence. That's what it, that's what it gives you. Some people feel like they can't go out to a party without having a little bit of alcohol. It just makes them feel, you know, they, that they're able to talk to people a little bit more. That's one of the big dangers with alcohol is that false sense of confidence. It affects your judgment and it also affects your concentration. Drugs. So we're thinking here of illegal drugs, whether it's marijuana, cocaine, and the whole host of other drugs that people may take, what we call recreational drugs. They will affect your reaction time as well. Distractions. There's so many distractions that can go on within your car. And we could actually categorise them in three ways. So you have things that are going on in your head. 
just things that you're thinking about, whether it's what you're going to be doing when you get home, you might have stuff on your mind. So you have all of those internal distractions that are going on, but you also have external distractions. And that could be could be things that you choose to do. It might be that you're putting on makeup or as this lady's doing, she's somehow managing to drink a coffee, be talking on her phone and writing at the same time, as well as driving a vehicle. Texting, you might be changing the radio. So many distractions can go on in the car. It might be passengers, that you're talking to passengers. You might be arguing with passengers. You might have small children in the back. Lots of things that can cause you to take your eye off of the road. Because that's what a distraction is. It's when you'll take your eye off the road for whatever reason and you're not going to see that that small child step out. And also the weather conditions. If it's raining, that's going to obscure your, your vision, which will affect your reaction time. So let's have a look at the braking distance now. The braking distance is the time it takes once you touch the brakes till the car actually comes to a complete stop. Tyres, that can affect your braking distance, what we call the tread depth. So that's how much the tyres are worn down and also how they're worn down. You know, sometimes when your shoes wear unevenly, so can your tyres. So if your tread depth, your tread depth is your grip on the road. If you don't have the grip, you're not going to stop. Also your tyre pressures, so how much air you have in your tyres will affect how effective your tyres are. Brakes, the condition of your brakes will obviously affect how effective your brakes are. The road surface, whether it's got lots of potholes or whether it's muddy, will all make a difference in your braking distance. The weather conditions, obviously if it's wet, icy, that will make a big difference. And finally, speed. Now, speed will affect both your thinking distance and your braking distance. The quicker that you are traveling will affect how quickly you react to things, but it's also going to affect how quickly your vehicle stops. So let's have a look back at that example that I showed you with the little girl that ran out. Now, we said that in that example, it would take six meters or about a car and a half length for your thinking time. Now imagine that you're distracted. So now the car is now going to take you longer to react. So in this example, you can now see we've stopped later. We've started to react later. So therefore, we've now we've now run this, this poor child over. Just want to have a look at 30 miles an hour. Just to show the difference that it's only 10 miles an hour more but just how much difference 10 miles an hour makes in terms of being able to stop and the damage that you can make to a pedestrian. So on this example, the overall stopping distance is 23 metres or six car lengths. Although it's 10 miles per hour more, the overall stopping distance is now doubled. Let's have a look at that situation again. We know that the child stepped out, but look, in this example, it takes us nearly three car lengths. So two and a half car lengths, it takes us to actually react. And the rest of those car lengths, we are dragging that child all the way down the road. And that's at 30 miles an hour. You can only just imagine at 70 miles an hour, it's going to take you so much longer to recognise that you're going to have to stop. And you're going to drag that pedestrian, that child so much further and the damage is so much more catastrophic. I hope you found this video helpful to help you understand stopping distances. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future videos. Bye bye.